here today with this Flash Force Adventure 5M and this thing is quite large. So I'm going to unbox this today and see how easy it is to set up one of these things and start using it. So let's go. First we have a little quick start guide here and an after sales brochure. The pack is quite nicely here. Then the device itself. So that's quite cool. Everything is packaged in this very soft material. And then you also get some filament here to start using it. And a screen. Nice. I'm just going to set that up corner here so you can easily track this and see how it's doing. Okay, so let's do away with all the packing material. Pliers in there as well. Some tools. That's nice. All the tools probably. Maintenance grease. 3D printing adhesive. A little pin tool. Power cord. Get a nice base right here. More packing material. Okay, so now we have the complete thing freed here. So that is what it looks like. So we've got these easy steps to follow. So let's see if this is like an IKEA furniture thing. Okay, so first we attach the spool holder right here. So first we attach the spool holder right here. There are even two arrows that indicate where, where it goes. So kind of idiot proof. And you even get the Allen wrench that goes with it. That's this one. So let's screw that in just a bit. You even get the Allen wrench that goes with it. That's nice and secure. Next we insert the filament guide tube through the extruder right here. And then just push that in. And then we push the other side of the guide tube here in the filament detection system. So just push that in there. Next we remove the tape here from the screen cable. So here's that screen cable. And then we can insert that into the screen connector right here. So with a cable like this, it feels a little bit like doing like this high end difficult electronics kit or something like that. But actually everything is thought out for us here. So it's quite easy to do. Click that into place with this little click system. And then we should be able to push this into the green placement right here. And it clicks right into place. That's quite easy. Then we need to remove these screws to unlock the base plate. And again, it's pretty easy because it's indicated with arrows. Can't really make a wrong move here. So I'll remove those. Okay, so now we're ready to power on the printer. Now I've never used a 3D printer before, but this seems like a very easy setup. So I'm looking to see if, well, <laughs> just a normal guy like me, not really tech savvy or all that much, um, can set up one of these and start using it. Okay, so we've inserted the power cord. Now let's turn this on. So immediately the screen starts turning on. We can just select a language. I'll pack materials, print it out. So now it's going to calibrate, I think. Oh, and then I want to turn Wi-Fi on. You can also use LAN with this, a LAN cable. Of course, Wi-Fi is much easier. You've got a little input screen to type your letters. It's quite small, so it's hard to type there, but that way you can type your Wi-Fi password. Okay, and that already is connected. Now I can easily look for Flash Maker. Now I can go to Flash Maker, an app, and easily scan the QR code that goes with this device. So it really sees the Adventure 5M from binding. So now this is in my account and I can see the device right here. So that's pretty cool. You can go into there, see all these stats like the temperature in there. That's cool and that, that the device is idle. Pretty nice. You can see the device name and then click on calibration and then start calibrating this. Now the calibration is in process. Okay, so now that that's calibrated, let's start loading the filament. Put the filament on the filament hanging area right here. And then add one end to the filament input tube here. I click to go to the next step. Preheating. Put the steam from the other end, so I've done that. You can see it's inside the tube there. So it's a P enough. Put the filament to the feeding roller. Now it starts seeing it and it's coming out here. 
you can see. So it's now completed. And clean the filament on the nozzle and the platform. Once that's done, take the platform off. It's a really sturdy magnet here, so you can easily put that on again. So this is what it tested. That is cleaned off. And then let's click on print here. Update completed. So now the printer is restarting. So that's how easily you start installing this thing. Now let's start using this to print something. The first time you will use this, you want to apply a little of this adhesive on the platform. There's a little nozzle, so you can easily apply that. Okay, so let's now go to Thingiverse and start downloading a file to uh, start printing. I'd like to get a little Totoro. There are a lot of files on here, which is pretty cool. You can of course design your own, but start printing these almost immediately. That is a very, a very nice. And download those files. And you also need to get Flash Print, which is the Flash Forges like a print software. For me, it's Windows right here. So when you start that application, you can choose to select which model you have. So I've selected the Adventure 5M. And why you want to do that is it sees how large that is. So this here is your base. And then when you go and open that file, Totoro file, just double click on that. And then that will open inside the uh, app. So now you can see how large this is uh, compared to your base and if it fits on your base. So now you can start slicing and uh, that means it slices up these portions um, for the uh, Adventure 5M to be able to use that. You can also scale that down or do some different things here. You can add more files to it. So you can print uh, multiple at once. You can also scale that down right here and then scale that. So I want to have a really small Totoro and use that as a Monopoly piece. So that would be really cool. So let's get that down to 20 millimeters and then the rest will scale down as well. So that's tiny. But where else are you going to buy a Totoro to be able to use that on Monopoly <laughs> um, if it's not uh, with 3D printing? So I'm going to see if that works out really, really well here. Uniform scaling. So I now I have two centimeters or 20 millimeters. And you can also do that in inches, of course, but I'm here in the Netherlands, so we use millimeters and centimeters. And then I should be able to start slicing this. Okay, so now we need to select the material type. And this is standard material type that came with the flash word. It also says it right on the packaging. So you also have that on the packaging. The HSPLA filament, and it's 1.75 millimeters. So you already have the correct ones, PLA 1.75 right in there. You can change those, of course, as well. But right now, a filament in there. Slice. Now it's slicing the model and well, it's already done. Okay, so now the software has layered this in different slices. So it can print one slice one by one. And then you can uh, look at the preview if you'd like. You can download that file. You can also send it to printer, but I haven't connected this with any printer or anything. So let's try and do that. So let's try and click that and see what happens. First, you can look at that slice preview and you can, uh, of course, zoom in here, but you see also things here. Estimated print time, three minutes because it's so small. Okay, as material, 1.91 grams. You want to make sure you have enough of that material to print, uh, to print it in the first place. So that should be done really, really quickly. A small little thing like that, so that's pretty cool. And then we have this button sent to printer. So let's see what happens if I click that because I haven't connected my printer with this software in any way. It sees it over the network IP address. Oh yeah. So it already sees that thing. Pretty cool. Okay, so it's going to print it. Pretty cool. So it immediately starts running that. Pretty nice. <laughs> I'm eager to see what will come out of there. You can also see that little Totoro file that's that's on there that is preheating and it's going to to print that so you can see what it's doing. You can pause it if you'd like and then cancel it as well there. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so that's done and it actually took three minutes. Only it took just a little bit longer because preheating that thing that took like five minutes. So 
more like eight but if you do a larger thing then of course that heating up doesn't matter as much if you're going to print that for like three hours so um, but with a small model like this it does matter and i was just finishing up here and that's done so now i just need to let the print bed cool down so it will be a little bit easier to take that off I, I read that at least so quite hot now so let's let that cool down for just a bit okay so now that that has cooled down we can grab that entire plate here and and look at that right here so here's our figure let's get that off of there you should be able to do yep so that comes off a few little filaments here and there as you can see so let's get those off as well and then we can clearly see his little cat ears look at that and you can just about make out his little face so at this length this height this is really detailed enough i think but as a first experiment here for like my monopoly set i think it's quite cool so it has the height there could have made it just a little bit bigger bigger perhaps to reach like the cat's head just a few more uh, millimeters there but being able to do this it's really cool and very easy to do so i really recommend the flash force adventure 5m it's quite easy to use so that's really really nice